One of the other major organelles that you need to know about um, goes by the rather long name of endoplasmic reticulum. Please do not abbreviate this one. Uh, ER, you'll see it sometimes, you know, in a, in a textbook, you'll see it referred to as ER. ER means emergency room in American. Uh, it's not a standard abbreviation. If you are writing an extended piece about endoplasmic reticulum and you think you're going to say it an awful lot and it's a pain to write out, uh, by all means, the sort of belt and braces aspect of abbreviation is you write it out in full the first time, you put then brackets ER to tell whoever's reading it that from now on you are referring to endoplasmic reticulum as ER, then they will know what, it's very clear what you're talking about. But don't just abbreviate without telling whoever's reading it what you're talking about. So endoplasmic reticulum is um, often referred to as a single organelle, which is a uh, we'll see in a minute, but when you look at an electron micrograph of a cell, so this is um, a cell, we can see the nucleus up in this top corner, we can see all these little oval uh, and round mitochondria. Now I know when we did the mitochondria, when I, you looked at the mitochondria video, it says, oh, you know, mitochondria are sausage shape, but if you cut them, and again, you can't see where you're cutting, if you cut them across that way, you're looking at the end view, if you like, and that's obviously circular in cross-section. You'll be able to see all these sort of like bits of string. And they cover, they go all the way through all the cytoplasm. And this is the endoplasmic reticulum. And it comes in two forms, rough and smooth. So these little sort of tram lines, little two membranes in lines all through the cytoplasm, endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic means inside the cytoplasm. Reticulum means a network, so we're net. If we look at it in three dimensions, then, we can see why it's called a single organelle, because in three dimensions, every bit of endoplasmic reticulum is connected to every other bit, and it is also connected to the outer membrane of the nucleus. So you can see that it's, you know, that's the outer membrane of the nucleus, and it's coming out from there. Two other differences that we can see on this diagram. We've got parts of this endoplasmic reticulum that are studded with little dots called ribosomes, remembering that ribosomes manufacture protein. And we've got parts of the endoplasmic reticulum that are not studded with ribosomes. Um, so studded with ribosomes means it's got covered in little bobbles and we call it rough endoplasmic reticulum because if you ran your finger over it, it would feel bobbly. And we've got smooth endoplasmic reticulum, no ribosomes. If you brushed your finger across it, it would feel nice and smooth, Mem it's just membrane. This is no good for drawing, is it? If you had to draw a diagram or if you could see a diagram, it's unlikely to be in three dimensions. But if you see, when you make a slide, you're generally you're cutting across something, particularly in electron micrographs, you are cutting through an extremely thin section. And what you're looking at is kind of the top view. So I'm just going to use my pen to outline what you would see. And what you would see is this. You'd see that sort of series of irregular shaped where it's sort of long and thin and looks like tram lines. And they are all interconnected, so occasionally you'd see bits that were interconnected like this. So when you're drawing uh, endoplasmic reticulum or looking for it, you're looking for something that might look like that. There might be another bit more circular, it might have bits like that. Um, so, and it, effectively that makes it look on an electron micrograph because these are small, these are membranes, um, like tram lines. These spaces 
in the middle are called cisternae. So you've got membrane enclosing cisternae and obviously these are all interconnected. And then we need to know our two different types. So type 1 has the bobbles. I'm only going to draw them on this one little tiny bit because otherwise we'll be here forever. And uh, yeah, times are pressing on. These are ribosomes and this would therefore be rough endoplasmic reticulum. And if they are cisternae, if our membrane is smooth, without any ribosomes, so smooth endoplasmic reticulum, no ribosomes. And obviously the ribosomes are on the cytoplasm surface, so in between all of these bits is, is cytoplasm. Endoplasmic, inside the cytoplasm, a network. So functions then. Um, rough endoplasmic reticulum is studied with ribosomes. Ribosomes manufacture proteins. So these are involved in the um, manufacture and transport. So obviously if you've got a network running right the way through the cell, just like we've got a network of roads running through the UK, uh, handy for transport. What they're doing, they're transporting proteins. And smooth endoplasmic reticulum is involved in the manufacture and transport of lipids. And the only other thing that you need to know about rough endoplasmic reticulum is that it is connected to the nuclear envelope. Obviously that's not too complicated, that's nice, quite a nice easy one to remember, apart from potentially this term cisternae, which seems to cause some issues.